Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. I'm Ron. Ngayong araw ay manonood tayo ng food trip ni Mark Wayne sa Kenya. Halika, samahan niyo ako. Good morning. I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm on the coast of Kenya in East Africa. And today I'm on a day trip with Coast Camping. They offer some unique off the beaten path tours. We're in Malindi today. Uh, we're gonna eat some local food, then we're gonna go on a boat. And one of the highlights is gonna be when they cook seafood in the ocean uh, and just hang out and have fun. We're with Farhana, we're with Samil. And yeah, it's gonna be an incredible day trip. And I'm gonna share it all with you in this video right now. Uh, before going on the boat, we are stopping for breakfast. We're in Malindi town. Bread, sambusa, soup and buzi. Oh, asante. Now that's Mahamri. Start with a cup of tea. Oh, ginger too. There's not a better way I can think to start off the morning than with some goat soup. And this seems to be one of the, the dishes of choice <laughs> in this restaurant. Uh, it's a nice broth. You can see some carrots and maybe some, some uh, cilantro in there. And then the bone chunks of... Okay, how about I'll just taste that broth first. That's really good. It's, it's like meaty. You can taste the, the bone flavor in there. It's salty. Uh, but you do need to add some lime and some, some chilies, some freshly cut chilies. Go into a, a chunk of that goat. What? Oh wow. Oh, it's awesome. It's so tender. A little fatty falls off the bone. You've got those fresh chilies in there, the squeeze of lime. Ah, uh, sure. Beans. We also got a bowl of beans. And beans, uh. The beans are kind of kind of plain, um, but really, really nice texture to those beans. They're very, they're very like silky, starchy. It's coconut, <laughs> and then that's a, uh, under it's beans. So like this thing has a hollowness yeah, so in it, so you fill it up with that. Beans. This is something I haven't tried before, but uh, it's called mbazi, mbazi, which is beans with. There is coconut cream on top, and then you can dip it. So this is a common breakfast as well. Mm. Oh, you wouldn't like necessarily think that bread or like don't any bready things would go well with beans, but that that's good. It's almost like a, a starchy jam uh, with the with the coconut cream richness. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that works really well together. And that should be immediately followed by some goat broth. Oh. oh, with those fresh chilies. Oh, that is perfect in the morning. Breakfast was excellent, and we got to rush out of here fast because uh, they, they've planned everything according to the tides. Uh, and we have to be on, on the boat at the right time to get to a sandbar, I think, at the right tide. Uh, so we're on our way. Huh? We are at the Malindi Marine Park Reserve, uh, and this is where we're gonna set off. Let me just quickly introduce you to Kim. He is the man from behind. He's the man behind Coast Camping. He's a cool guy, and yeah, thank you very much for hosting us today. Asante <laughs> sana. Good morning, Farhana. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Excited to be in the sea today? Yes. Yes. It's beautiful already. And especially what I am looking forward to is somewhere along the route we're going to stop and grill a bunch of seafood. And on to the boat. Ocean breeze, the sea is clear, it's, it's gorgeous. Ah. 
was about a 30, 45 minute boat ride and it's the, it was something I love so much about the Indian Ocean and the east coast of Africa is just the different shades of colors of the Indian Ocean. There's dark blue, there's turquoise, there's almost like white, there's every shade of green and blue you can imagine. And we've just docked, we've just anchored here. Uh, there's a sandbar, but unfortunately the tide is I think it's rising, it's high, so it's not exposed. The sea is so clear and pristine and so clean. The wind is really strong. Uh, and because of the tide, we couldn't stop at that sandbar, so we're stopping on the beach. The beach is also beautiful, uh, and this is where we're going to stop to grill. Well, hopefully the, the microphone is working okay, but yeah, it's really, really windy. But here underneath the rock, under this, this cave, like, uh, there's a little piece in here. Okay, fire is lit, and yeah, you can just see that wind whipping through the fire. It's really strong wind. Ooh, shut up. They put the grill half in the ocean, the waves wow. slap against the grill uh, and first they're putting on the fish which looks like it's been marinated. You can see some pepper on there uh, and I know there, there's also going to be lobster as well so we are barbecuing in the ocean. It's moonfish in Kiswahili, kole kole, right? Kole kole. This is a taste test. Oh, it's so good. Mm. The fish itself is kind of similar to tuna in texture and taste, but then it's marinated. You taste the black pepper. Oh, that's, it's delicious. Ooh, lobster. on the beach but we're eating in the boat they set up a table put all the food the fish is ready the lobster is cooked there's rice uh, we've got a seafood feast on the boat uh, rice with prawn curry on top there's the fish the grilled shrimp and the lobster but since the lobster is right off the grill I gotta I gotta begin with the lobster okay I'm gonna dig out some of this guy oh, it just, oh, oh, oh look at that it just slides out Oh, it's beautifully juicy. I got the, the tamale and the, the head juices butter. Oh. oh, yeah. It's so good. It's it's really moist. You can I got some of that tamale in there, so that's like the buttery, salty creaminess. Sprinkle on some lime. Oh, the oh, fish is so good. It, is, it has a similar texture to tuna. Um, really almost like a like a dark meat. It's moist. It, you can taste that black pepper marinade on there. Okay, I'm also very excited to try the rice uh, with the prawn curry. And there's coconut milk in there as well. You can see the little prawns. There's some chilies in there. Mix it with the rice. Oh, there's whole chilies in there too. Rice is excellent, actually. The, it's kind of tomatoey. Um, the little shrimp in there, and then I got that that whole green chili, so it has a kind of like a sour green chili taste to it. That fish, mix it in with the the rice. I really love the fish. Oh yes, 
guys. Oh, that feels incredible. Lunch was delicious. The water is so clear and nice. Oh, oh man. And the, the tide is really coming up fast. Uh, when we started grilling, this whole rock here, coral was, uh, there was sand. Wow, nice. It's from right here? Okay. Very nice, very nice. This is good sweets. Asante. <laughs> we just ate though. No, maybe not. trip was incredible and we drove into Malindi town. This is another historic town on the coast of Kenya. We're gonna stop in Malindi to eat a few famous things. Stopped at a legendary place to eat a, a, something called helwa which is a sweet dessert. Dessert. Owner has given us permission to go see where they're making it. When they have a wedding ceremony. Oh okay okay. Okay. Yeah. And the most, okay. they're giving us halwa. Halwa, halwa, yeah. halwa. All right, you come in this green gate here. And back here. Oh, wow. A special place just for cooking wow. halwa. What's up? Yeah, it's really hard. Like jelly. It's incredible to see them make it. Uh, they have this whole like building. Below it, they are burning firewood. Uh, so there's a big bonfire underneath it. But on top, there's this like copper gigantic bowl where he just sloshes around the halwa, and it's a it's a mixture of sugar and starch. He just like continually stirs it, and I think they're they're adding in oil as he continuously mixes it with a paddle. And the sound is incredible, um, and he just sloshes that until it keeps dehydrating until it turns into kind of that that jellyish texture, uh, which is what we're gonna go eat. But that is just like a it looks like lava. Oh. <laughs> That was so cool to see. That's going to give so much more meaning to tasting the halwa right now. One whole blob. Blob. Look, look at the, the butter, the clarified <laughs> butter dropping from it. Just keeps stirring it until it dehydrates and until it like turns into a blob of jelly. It can defy gravity. It's so sticky and oily. Immediately your fingers are just covered in all of that oil. All right, let's try this. And there's almonds in it. Mm. Mm, good sweetness. Mm. It's like, mm. like really sticky Jello with a, a nutty, floral kind of taste. And it has these black particles. I'm not sure what it what is. What are the black particles? Do you see those tiny, tiny? <laughs> How's the halwa? <laughs> is there a little bit of cardamom in it too? You can taste that little, little hint of spice in there, but it's very mellow. And this one is the baobab yeah. seeds. And you there's a little seed in the middle. Mm. It has, mmm, that's pretty good. It kind of has that salty sweet contrast. Kind of like tamarindy a little bit too. It's kind of like raisiny. Next up, final one is the, the cured sugar dried mango. Mm. Yeah, that's also kind of raisiny tasting. It's sweet. First sweet then sour with a little bit of a crunch to it. Yes, you're welcome, brothers. Thank you. This is Malindi Madian Goshega. Kim, what are we stopping here to eat? To uh, eat uh, cassava. Oh, okay. And viazi. Oh, and viazi. Yeah. All right. But the language is similar. That's the heat tonight of viazi. <laughs> you brought it. <laughs> we were hanging out and waiting for the cassava lady, but Kim went, I think, to her house uh, to pick up the supplies because she's supposed to sell right next to the, the lady selling bajias. But she wasn't here when we got when we arrived. <laughs> So we're stopping to eat some kind of cassava stewed in coconut milk. Uh, we're gonna find out. <laughs> That's to eat with the viazi as well? 
Oh, wow. It's, it's mango chili. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So they, they cook it and they melt it and put chili inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's to go with the Vietnamese. No, no, no. It looks like she kind of mixes everything, including the bucket of cassava and the juice uh, with the bajias, with the viazi, the potatoes, the chili, then there's the mango chutney all in one plate. <laughs> That's the ultimate one right there. I'll start with one of those bajillas and they're just soaking up with that, that cassava and that juice from that bucket. Mm. Oh, it's almost like brothy. Oh, wow. And then that bajilla is like, has a coarse texture to it. A little bit of chili in there too. Okay, next up for the potato. And these are also deep fried, battered and deep fried. Mmm. That has like a, a fried soggy crust around it. That cassava liquid. Uh, this one is the cassava from that bucket. Mmm. Oh, I, oh, I got some of that mango chutney. You can taste the sourness of that mango. Oh, mango chutney. They definitely look like chicken nuggets. I almost have the same texture. I think the favorite thing is my, those bajillas with the cassava juice, that brothy mm -hmm. liquid, and with that mango chutney. My name is Mohammed Abu Bakr, Mohammed alias Senegal. Oh, but you're from Senegal? Yeah, no, this is nickname. Oh, okay. Yeah, from uh, one guy, Italian guy. I'm from Malindi Shela. I'm working with tourists about 30 years. I'm a very person who speaks Italian, Italian language very well. And I have wife and one daughter and one son. I'm very happy to see you guys. In Italian, we are calling stranieri. Stranieri vuol dire guests. I'm very happy Thank to you. see your guests and you are welcome in Malindi Shela. Free freedom at home, no problem, which means hakuna matata. You are free, you are welcome. If you are happy, when you go back, you tell others in Malindi, Shela, Kenya, people are very intelligent, are very respectable, are very nice and good. Thank you for that, and I say goodbye. Asante sana. God bless you. Asante sana. Ever since we got out of the car, he has been standing with us and he was just he was just itching to say his speech. This is pure chili in here. And I'm dying, but it's so good. Oh, that's just the chili with the cassava? Yeah, that's only the chili. The, yeah, of course, of course. And take a good one. Yeah. Mm. How is that? Oh, that's really good because you taste the mango like a very vividly, a sharp yeah. mango. It's a little bit spicy, and then you've got that that like starchiness of the the cassava in there. Oh, that's really good. Oh, I like it like that. You really? Yeah. Uh, it was all good, and also the bajillas were excellent. But this is where they all make it right here. Let me give you a, a better view of the the front there. That's the spot. Uh, it is right. Oh. Uh, all over the wall you'll find unga taifa, which is a, a flower hand painted on the wall. This is in Malindi. That's a great snack. That was delicious. Uh, we're moving on. <laughs> Driving back towards Mombasa, but on the way we're stopping to eat one more thing. We drove somewhere halfway between uh, Malindi and back to Mombasa. This is a legendary place for Nyamachoma Mishkaki and it's in the kind of middle of a, just a random small village but uh, this place is bustling. I don't know. 
they're just getting ready to close so we came here just as they they're closing luckily they're open uh, but we are such a big group we ordered like 50 skewers of meat uh, so they have to relight the charcoal which they're they're lighting right here but in the meantime they are preparing the kachumbari which is uh, onions mishkakeki Oh man, this is gonna be so good. The kachumbari is a combination of onions and tomatoes and maybe some dania. Mm. It's our group. I think we ordered that entire grill full. He filled the entire grill. That's all for us. That meat is starting to hiss and smoke and as it's grilling he continually bastes it with this, I think it's oil, but that expertise, he kind of just shakes it and massages the meat at the same time. been an amazing day and this is going to be the best way to finish this fantastic day. Fresh off the grill, we got chapatis, we got ugali, we got kachumbari, we got some pili pili chilies, both uh, fresh chilies as well as chili, chili sauce. Uh, yeah, this smells, this this is the spot and I, I just met some guys uh, sitting at another table. They said, uh, they're from Mombasa, they were driving to Malindi. They said, you cannot drive from Mombasa to Malindi without stopping here. This is the place. Yeah, they put the kachumbari inside that and mixed it around. All right. And then the whole chili inside of the kachumbari. Look at that redness. That is going to be super spicy. Uh, then you mix it up with your skewer with your meat. I got it. I can't wait. Oh. Oh, oh, that meat is so good. Oh, it's like salted to perfection. That marinade is amazing. It has this incredible smoky flavor. Oh, that's tender juiciness. And you can also just pull it off with your fingers. <laughs> that meat is insane. There's instructions everywhere in Mombasa. I'm telling you, this place does not compare to any of that. For this bite, I'll de skewer, put that right into the pan of the fresh pili pili, the freshly chopped green chilies. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, they're not too spicy, um, but but really good flavor. And you've got that fresh chili crunch. Next up for some ugali, uh, scoop it up with a piece of meat and then dip it into that kachumbari and that pili pili sauce. Oh, yeah. That just gives it the, the like starch to make it a complete meal. But yeah, that ugali is great. It's cornmeal, it has a texture to it, it's soft, it's, it's pretty dense so it's filling. Um, uh, along with that kachumbari and that meat, that's what makes it great. Oh, hello Maka, how was that nyamachoma? No, Maka, Maka really loves chapatis. Asante sana, asante sana. As we're leaving, they have already closed. They're friendly. That was unbelievably delicious. Hi guys, thank you for watching. Sana nagustuhan niyo po ang panonood. Please like and subscribe and click the notification bell para po sa mga bagong videos. Bye bye.